What is going on guys? My name's Nate and this is my 10 foot box truck stealth camper that I just finished up and got posted for sale. Got a main entry door on the back here and I was going for like a real industrial look rather than using just like a traditional RV door or a camper door. So we've got a master lock in the back. I think these are called van locks, but I could be wrong. And do the bolts. And right at the back, got a nice bug screen. And I pretty much keep these fans running all the time. I am going to turn those off just because they're kind of loud. And I don't want the uh, audio getting messed up on the camera. But yeah, dual Max Air vent fans. So this one actually, it just pushes air out of the truck. Um, and this one, you can go either direction, but I have it blowing in right now. That way the air can circulate with both of the fans and I keep them running pretty much all the time because it helps keep the inside here cooler than outside. And the dimmer switch for the lights. I also have this, uh, it's like a Reflectix window covering that I've painted white to uh, kind of blend in on the outside a little bit more. It's definitely not perfect, but I think it works pretty good. So in the back here, let me move this lock. Have a small TV monitor there. And we have our bench seats. So I will uh, show you what we got going on here first. Tuck that back. So these benches, they both have storage underneath them. There's also the inverter there and I'll show the electronics in a second. But just lots of open space for those. And then if we pop these sides up, oh, throw on latches. I realized driving around that uh, those kind of like will move. So that's why I put the latches on them. So when you're driving, they don't make that banging sound. But we lift those right up. We can take our cushions and drop them right in here. Then you have, this is almost a queen size bed. It's about five inches short, but it is the same width. And I'm gonna pull these back up. It's a lot easier to move around when the bed is not up. And to drop these down, let's see if I can get a good angle of this. You kind of have to sit on the bed, but you just reach in here. And there's just, uh, they're on like little levers, basically. And they drop right down. So, not too difficult. Pretty easy to uh, pull that up and put it back down. And above the beds, we've got some cabinets here. And these are all the same. So just uh, open space here. And I've put this uh, elastic cord in there. That way, if you have things sitting in here, when you drive around, everything tends to shift a little bit. So that way with the uh, cords there, you don't have things falling out when you open the cabinets. Coming over to this side, there's some storage underneath the counter here. Um, same deal with the elastic. Just kind of uh, a barrier there to stop things from sliding around or you know falling out when you open the doors. And some open space under there. And on this side, we have our water tanks. So these are each five gallons. So we have uh, two for fresh water and one for gray water. Um, so the fresh tanks, you just kind of have to switch out. And uh, you know, when this one runs out, then use that one. I've got a little bit of water in there that I used just for demonstration purposes. We've got our master switch here. So I can click that on. And sometimes you'll hear the pump run for a second. Um, but since there's already water in that line, the pump doesn't have any space to fill. But if there's no water in the line, you'll hear the pump go on and then it's pressure sensitive. So I'm gonna close these, just that way you can hear the actual sound level when I turn this on. So there is that humming sound, but it's not too bad. Uh, it's not super loud. And then I always turn that master switch off when I'm not using the sink. That way, 
when you're driving or I don't know, you just don't have any issues with it turning on or anything like that. And you got a nice backsplash there with butcher block counters and butcher block on this side as well. Also over here, you slide this open. We have our chest fridge and kind of a design flaw on my part. I uh, didn't design it so it opens up all the way. So you do have to hold it. That's on me, but it came out pretty good. I like uh, how when you open it, you still have this space to move around. So it's not like you're having to stand off to the side to get into the fridge. So it works pretty good. And same deal with that, I put a latch on it so you don't have it opening up um, if you're driving a little too crazy. In the corner, I've got just a simple uh, closet rod there with the hanger that I used to measure it when I put it up. And this piece here, can just use it to, I don't know, store whatever. But that lifts up so that we can access the electronics. We have uh, three solar panels on the roof and we've got our charge controller, our battery hidden underneath. So the fridge slides right above that. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Um, and then of course our fuse box and a shut off and an awesome camp toilet, which I know everyone loves to use. The camp toilet is definitely a uh, emergency type situation only because um, no one wants to clean that out or dump it, whatever. But when you need it, it's good to have it. So coming back over by the benches next to our dimmer switch, we have some outlets here. One is a cigarette outlet and the other is uh, some USB ports and same deal on the other side. And then I showed for a second, but the inverter is underneath and there's the cord to our TV monitor. And that just runs underneath the fridge as well and plugs into the battery. I think that's just about it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. There's lots of storage space overhead and under the benches. We also have the pass-through door here. And this has a, a I don't know what you'd call that, a latch, but also latches on the other side. So when you're driving, you don't have to worry about it opening and closing. And it goes right into the cab. There isn't a ton of space, but it's pretty comfortable to move from the back to the front and vice versa. And I'm not a super small person, but I don't know, manage just fine. And of course, gotta have an upgraded stereo. So coming back here, nice and easy. I'm gonna flip that just so the door is not opening and closing. And LED puck lights in the ceiling, which I've used on, I think all my builds, uh, all but one actually, where I did some wall lights instead, but they work great. So if it's not broke and have our little window here, this is actually a little bit unintentional. I wasn't planning on putting a window in, but when I bought the box truck, there was uh, a hole cut with a, like a vent panel on it. And so, I mean, obviously with building the walls and putting the vent fans in, I didn't want that vent there. So I uh, made a window out of it and it worked out pretty good. So it's not a huge vehicle. I mean, I am kind of all the way up there, but it does fit in a regular parking spot, no problem. So it can go, uh, Anywhere a full-size van would go, this truck would fit. Let me see if I can give you a little bit of a look at the roof. Climb up here. We've got our vent fan and the three solar panels and the fan in the back. I played with a couple different design ideas for the interior, but I am pretty happy with uh, yeah, how everything came together. It definitely gets warm quick when the uh, fans aren't going and there's no breeze in here. I'm just gonna show you this real quick. You pull this down, now it's closed. And you push it up and it's open. That's definitely the, uh, the louder of the two fans. 
but this one is on a knob so I can twist that closed. I don't know how well you can see that, but that locks in place. And then same thing in reverse, pop that open. Oh yeah, right away the breeze coming through here is so nice. This makes a huge difference. I guess one more thing, this TV is on a swivel. And so uh, it's got a pretty big, I guess, range area that it can move to. If you want it over on that side, if you want it over here, maybe, you know, set up a workstation, whatever you want to do. And I just kind of keep it centered. It's good to go. So let me know what you think. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And uh, this is posted for sale. You can also check out some of my other projects on my Instagram at custom off grid. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, I also did a whole series of build videos for this camper, which I actually haven't finished uploading. So if you're watching this when it's first posted, those videos are not all up yet, but in the next couple of weeks, I don't know, I'll uh, finish editing and get the whole process done.